What's up everybody, it's the Offspring, and I bring you two new mod releases. Uh, same truck, uh, you guys might remember this from the uh, Farming Simulator 2013 series that I did um, back in 2013. And um, this was the uh, custom Offspring truck uh, by American Iron Modding. Um, shout out to them, shout out to Mudbone. Um, we, my, the team brings you two versions. Uh, this one is made by Mason, my mod team leader. Go check him out, Farming Simulator 2015 Mod Picks. And this one is made by Duramax Nation, a member on our mod team. And um, both are converted and edited trucks to 2013. Uh, shout out to Mudbone. I'm probably going to be doing some videos with that guy. I've been knowing him for a minute. And, um, and yeah, he uh, pretty much gave us permissions to convert the trucks and stuff. And um, I love these trucks. It was pretty much, I, I remember messaging them, telling them to make this because I was like, can you make me a custom offspring truck for so I could do hauling? And they made it. And it, it's the Sterling 5500 Beast. I used this in so many videos. It, it's, it's, so, it's such a good truck. That's why. And uh, yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy to bring this to you in 2015. So we're going to spawn in some trailers. Let's see, uh, let's get a PJ. We're gonna have to go green. Whoa, kind of spawned me on top right there. Alright, let's hop in Duramaxes. It's kind of ironic how I'm saying Duramax, yet driving a Cummins. Alright, we got that guy hooked up. Now let's hook up Mason. Probably gonna have to back around. Oh, I was trying to do the Italian job into that PJ right there. But instead of a mini tube, I'm driving a Sterling 5500. Let's test this beast out. Dually. Oh, I love this semi rental car. It's so nice. Alright, let's see. What should we get? Let's get us a skid steer. We'll haul two for the PJ load. And uh, let's see. Can we get a car that might fit in there? I know this will. So we'll grab another one of you guys. Alright, let's get two. The unfortunate problem of this trailer, um, I gotta download the up updated version of it, um, or just ask a Rambo or get one of my team members to, uh, add some weight and locking scripts on here because, uh, every time I slam on the, uh, old brake pedal, the stuff goes flying, so, I don't like that kind. And unfortunately, and that, uh, my last mod release, uh, the F350 single cab, um, I was talking about the FS2K stuff, I don't want to go back into it, because uh, it's just dumb, and um, I'll explain in a second, but um, but yeah, I, I said the guy's name who uploaded my mod, and uh, I said his name, and uh, he didn't have an alias, he just went by his name, and said his name, and apparently he filed a, like, a privacy complaint or something like that uh, on YouTube, so I had to edit out that part of the video, so I apologize on that, guys, kind of weird. But, uh, but yeah. And, uh, the other thing is, um, this is pretty much, uh, I know Winston and everybody say the same thing, and pretty much all my modders and the team say the same thing. Um, you guys can edit our mods all you want, and, um, and, and that's all cool with us. Um, but, uh, if you, if you want to edit them or fix them and upload them somewhere, all you got to do, guys, is just come to us, ask us for our permissions, and just post us in the credits. That's all we ask for, and that's pretty much what pretty much every every modder says. And um, like, all, all you got to do is just ask for permissions. Just the I I understand what FS2K is doing and and editing and converting and fixing mods. That's all cool and stuff, yeah. But you can't just take somebody's work without asking and not credit them at all. You know what I mean? And and I understand maybe they're not taking credit for the mod, but they're not giving credit, so. That's the part that I don't like and a lot of modders don't like and all they want is just for you guys 
have to ask the permissions, and that's all they need. But uh, but yeah, that's about it on that topic. I'm, I'm gonna end it on there. But yeah, let's hook up, close up these ramps, lock the load. I like to do it twice because uh, back in the 2013 days, sometimes you have to lock it more than once. So let's do this little haul right here. This one is pretty much the exact 2013 uh, version. Yeah. The other one is just edited a little bit. It's got different rims and uh, uh, motor sounds and uh, it's got a little bit of tweaks on it. But this one's pretty much the exact one that American Iron Body brought you back in 2013. It's a, it's a good truck. Shout out to those guys because uh, I'm sure they're going to want to put this up on their site as well. I'd love it to be on American Iron uh, website because this truck is great and I'm so happy to be able to re-release this for you guys because this was one of my favorite trucks. Uh, I made it like a top five favorite at best 2013 mod video and this is like number one because uh, it's just so, so reliable like, and just so awesome. Like It never gets older. That's why I wanted to give you guys some edited version as well. So. Uh, you know, maybe if you do get kind of bored of this version, you can uh, go ahead and, and use the other version. Alright, let's go hop in this version right here. Alright. Okie dokie. I hope our load doesn't go flying everywhere. Alright, this one's a little bit slower. Uh, we're probably going to have to fix the uh, weight in it. That's just some scripts. Because it does sag a little bit. But uh, that's understandable. That's uh, kind of real, you know what I mean? I, I, I love the realism. Because uh, I definitely have two vehicles in the back. And that would be kind of a load right there. You'd see some saggage, you know what I mean? Because uh, my truck, I had a, uh, a big dumpy on my uh, my truck, and I had a big skid steer parked in the big dumpy, and uh, my truck was sagging. And uh, when I remember when I backed it onto the on a trailer, it uh, my truck back wheels got in the air. It was crazy. Yeah, this thing's hauling it good. It's got the old school Sterling interior. Got the Alcoas on it. Different semi tires. Okay, come on. Yeah. It struggles when it gets up the hills. It'll top out about 25, but once it gets up there, it goes. Got the pinnel hitch on it. Love the pinnel hitches. Got the brush guard too. Just in case you're like me and uh, keyboard drive yourself into the wall. <laughs> but thank God for freaking steering wheels. Alright, do a little park job. Boom. Alrighty guys, very nice, very nice, check that out. But alright guys, there it is, the two Sterling 5500s brought to you by the Offspring Mod Team and also American Iron Modding and Mudbone. So uh, I'm glad to be able to bring you guys these mods and um, I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, give us a like on this video and uh, comment as well or you know add me on social media, I love talking to you guys. and. Uh, those likes and stuff go a long way. Uh, I got a weird donation thing on my channel now, so I don't know, guys. You can mess around with that. I don't know if it works or not, <laughs> but um, I'm sure it does, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know all the little ins and outs of YouTube, you know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, there they are, the beast. I love them. One's a little bit, one's a little bit bigger than the other one, but uh, one's a little bit more raised, 
And uh, this one has the uh, orange engine from uh, back in 2013. I don't think this one does. No, this one just has the chrome engine. But yeah, I remember the orange engine. So funny. But, uh, but yeah, guys, there it is. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.